They came seeking a sanctuary, traveling for weeks on land and sea, escaping the fighting in Iraq and Syria. But this camp in Dunkirk is proving to be a dangerous trap for the women and children taking shelter here. The teams of charity workers and volunteers who visit every day have decided to speak out about what's really happening here. During daylight hours, the camp looks clean and efficient and well organized. But when night falls, it's a very different picture. That's when it falls into the hands of the traffickers. Um, there are issues of um, smugglers who, who force women to have sex with them as part of the deal to enable them to reach the UK. People who are considered vulnerable in the camp, whether they be unaccompanied minors, uh, women, people with disabilities, they're very often pressured similarly into doing things that they wouldn't be, whether those things are sexual or not. There are reports that the traffickers in the camp actually have weapons. What have you heard? There are definitely guns in the camp. Um, I have personally found cartridges on the floor um, and it's, 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 it's a serious issue. The British Home Office has now closed the door on these children. Just 350 have been promised asylum in the UK instead of an expected total of more than 3,000. The government said the scheme was incentivizing the flow of child refugees, but many MPs reacted with outrage. A legal action is being launched in the UK, claiming the Home Office's approach was arbitrary and mean-spirited. Abdullah escaped the fighting in Iraq with his family. His eldest son has managed to enter the UK illegally. His youngest daughter despairs of ever seeing her brother again. We are worried about him now. His mother is always crying. We want to join him in the UK. Everyone in this camp knows they have not yet escaped their ordeal. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Dunkirk.